All right, so I recently got a request from one of my subscribers asking me to explain how to import reviews using a looks application onto your Shopify website. Now, obviously, you know, once your business starts going and you get orders and you're going to reach out to customers and ask them for reviews, but at the beginning when you're first starting out and you have absolutely no reviews, Reviews are going to help you boost conversion rates because that's what something that's something that customers look for when they visit a website they haven't uh, visited before and they know they don't know about, right? So in this video, I'm going to explain and show you how to import reviews via Luke's application. So let's get started right away. All right, so I'm inside of Luke's as you can see right here, and as you can see, uh, to do this, we got to click Import Reviews. We gotta scroll down and we gotta, and this is what we want. We want import from a spreadsheet. So there is uh, three simple steps we need to do here. Copy the templates, fill in the data, and then download the CSV format and upload it here. So let me show you how to do that. First, you click Luke's import file template, and it's gonna ask you to make a copy. So you click make a copy, you give it a second, and then it's going to create this copy of Luke's review import template. All right, so once you copy this, then you wanna enter the, this data here. So first things is a product's handle. Now, if you don't know what the product handle is, you can click import template instruction and it's going to explain it what it is. So you can see right here that the product handle is the last part of the products after the last uh, dash, right? So whatever your uh, product that you wanna get reviews for, you go to that product page, you take that last piece from the last dash and you put it there. I'm not gonna disclose my website, so I'm just gonna leave it as, um, you know, we can put um, YouTube trial here uh, or YouTube tutorial. And then for rating, that's up to you. You can put five stars author you can change it to jessica t and then email you can delete that you don't really need an email for this this is the actual body of the review so this is the best illustration ever created so this is the date that this illustration was published so you can put 2021 03 and then you can put a one or whatever and then for the photo url so this um luke's is going to pull out you know the photo from somewhere and the easiest way to do this is you go into your shopify backend into the files and as you can see i have already uploaded this photo right here so all you got to do is just click copy link and then you go back to here and you just paste it here and that's pretty much it. And then this is you leave it this as it is at true. And then you can repeat this process over and over, right? So you can do as many reviews as you would like to. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it at one. So then what you wanna do is you wanna click file, download, and you wanna do a comma separated values, right? So a CSV sheet. You click download, and then it's gonna be downloaded right here. Next, you wanna go back to your Shopify and you wanna click upload template file. Here, find that CSV and then click open. And that's pretty much it. Once you upload that file onto your Luke's reviews, it's going to get all that data and it's going to publish that review onto your Shopify website. Be aware that if you make a mistake, it's going to send you an email saying, hey, there is a mistake, right? So you can fix that. If, however, everything is fine and you know it's all good, then it's just gonna publish that review onto your website and that way, you can get your first initial reviews for your Shopify website. So uh, it's up to you to decide whether this is ethical or not. My job is to show you how it's done and then it's up to you to decide whether you want to do it or not. But from my experience, having reviews on your website um, gives it a lot of social proof and that in turn boosts your conversion rate, right? So your website looks uh, like it's live, like it's legit, you know, it uh, establishes trust with your customer. And then, but you know, you wanna do it just to initially. And then once you um, get moving and you start getting orders, then you wanna reach out to your customers with automated emails or you wanna reach out to them manually and you wanna ask them to say, hey, how, how, how do you like shopping with us? How do you like your illustration or whatever product you're selling? And this is super important. Uh, because first off, you know, this is going to give credibility to your website, yes, but it, you know, what's even more important is going to tell you how you are performing as a, as a business, right? Because if your 
um, product sucks, right? If you, if you don't have good customer support or whatever, customers are going to let you know that. And it's super important because then you can actually go ahead and fix those things that they don't like. So later on, uh, you can improve your performance, which in turn will improve your business, improve your profitability and so forth, right? So you want to aim to have good products, good services. So with that in mind, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. If you, don't, if you have any video suggestions, ideas, let me know down in the comment section below. And on this note, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Till next time.